Uh, hello there everybody, uh, Jason here again. I got another top 10 for you. I think this is about my seventh system I've done the top 10 for. Uh, this one I'm going to do the uh, Sega Swan Song, uh, their last system that they did. Uh, everybody loves that, the, the system. Um, I was very sad when they discontinued it, being a Sega fan of mine. Uh, but of course I'm talking about the, the Sega Dreamcatcher. Uh, great system with its round design and its feathers. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. The Sega Dream Sega Dreamcast, of course. Um, I got it a few months after it came out. I think it came out on 9, 9, uh, September 9th, 1999. And I got it uh, at the beginning of the next year. Um, it was selling like hotcakes at first and it kind of died down and unfortunately Sega was losing money. Um, they had to stop uh, supporting it after about two years. Which is a shame, it's a really great system. I, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about the system. Um, I don't have a whole lot of games to choose from uh, compared to, see back here, some of my other collections. I only have about 25 games for the Dreamcast. So it's, you know, I still have enough to pick a top 10 from. So if your game, your favorite Dreamcast game is not on the list, I probably don't own it. So let's go with number one is or not, sorry, not number one, number ten. Uh, Sega Bass Fishing. Um, nothing really uh, spectacular about this game. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun catching the bass. Uh, every time you bring them up, it's a small one. Oh, that's a keeper. Oh, that's a big one. Um, <laughs> really fun game. Um, not all that challenging, just a fun game, which to really what you merit a game on is how much fun it is. That's why it's on my list. Uh, another really fun game is crazy taxi the first one that's i like the second one too but this one i like a little better uh arcade fun um just exactly what it says crazy taxi go around pick it up guys take it to destination keep going keep going get the score up um just a great game i think just about everybody this is like if you have a dreamcast i think 90 percent of the people probably have this game a uh, really great game it was also on uh, other systems but uh number nine Let's see, then we start getting into uh, number eight, uh, Jet Grind Radio. Uh, unique game, uh, riding around on some uh, inline skates, uh, tagging graffiti, running from people, nice uh, cell shaded graphics, which was, you know, uh, kind of new at the time. It wasn't the first game to do it, but uh, it was like a comic book thing, a lot of fun. There's been some sequels and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, this game, uh, boy, I kept playing it till I passed it. A lot of fun, challenging, great game. Gotta have it. Number seven. Now, uh, most people who have a Dreamcast would say the best fighting game is Soul Calibur, which I have. And I'm not a big fighting genre guy anyways, but my favorite one, probably my favorite fighting game, a lot of people don't like it, is uh, Dead or Alive 2. Um, I like the counter system. A lot of people don't like the counter system where if someone attacks and you counter it right, you do a counter attack and do a lot of damage. I like the multiple levels. You could knock people off one platform, go down, keep fighting them and stuff. Uh, this is one of the only few, you know, fighting games that I really got into. I played all the, you know, the Mortal Kombat, Street Fighters, Samurai Showdown and all that stuff, but uh, this one might be my favorite, but, you know, I like I said, I'm not a big uh, fighting game guy, so you can criticize me if you want. Number six. Oh, it's falling apart. Uh, if I pronounce this right, I believe it's Shenmue. Um, kind of um, ahead of its time in a way, this game. Uh, if you played it now, you probably wouldn't like it, but at the time it was really cool, nice and uh, story. Um, unfortunately, they never finished. It's supposed to be a five-part series. They only made a second one, which came out, I think, on the Xbox anyways. Uh, but this game was really a lot of fun. Open area, uh, live this guy's life, even go to work, drive forklift around and all this other stuff. Um, battle systems and everything. It's a really fun game. Uh, I think most people have a Dreamcast have played this game. I've seen a lot of people put this as their number one game. Fun game, but not quite worthy of number one. Uh, only two role-playing games really released for the Dreamcast, and this one, Granadia 2, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, I was a little disappointed when I first got it because I'm not a big fan of linear role-playing games. I like going wherever you want. This one, you kind of just got to follow it as it goes along. But the thing that makes this why it's on my list and such a good game is the battle system. 
role-playing games, you know, you do a lot of battling. This is the most fun out of any role-playing game, and I have played a lot. Uh, battle system in this, you have a timing bar, and you want to judge on who you want to attack. It matters how far away the guy is and everything. Uh, really good graphics and everything. But, yeah, the battle system, as far as role-playing games, this is probably the greatest. And I've played all the Chrono Triggers, Fantasy Stars, played a lot of Final Fantasies. I haven't played every role-playing game. There might be more fun ones. But this is probably... The best battle system. That's why it's on my list. Uh, what are we getting down to? We're getting down to number four. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. A uh, big Resident Evil fan. In fact, uh, uh, Resident Evil, I believe, was my number three game on the PlayStation when I did the top ten list. Uh, this one kind of changed everything. It didn't have the pre-rendered backgrounds as much. The tank controls were gone, which I never bought. The tank controls never bothered me. Um... Really good story. Well, I wouldn't say really good story. There's never been a good story in a Resident Evil game, but a lot of fun, a lot of challenging, great graphics, um, great game. Not my favorite Resident Evil of all time, but you know, I love all the Resident Evils, so it doesn't really matter. But really good game, worthy of number four on the list. And now we're getting down to the final three, and uh, one of the launch title games, Sonic Adventure, the first one. Um, some people don't like it as much because of the hub world. Um, and then you got to go, you know, it's not just stage after stage after stage, but all in all, this was a great, great game, great Sonic Chat. I love the second levels. Just, I remember when I played that, I just wanted to show everybody, like, look how cool this is. Um, great game, passed it a long time ago. Um, liked part two, but not as much as part one. Um, very good game and a must have if you have a Dreamcast. And now we get to number two. Now this, a lot of people, uh, I don't know how people feel about this. It was on the Nintendo 64 and stuff, but San Francisco Rush 2049. Um, this is a great game. It's more than just a racing game. I mean, there's objects to, to find. You want to uh, find all the, the coin, silver, and gold to unlock stuff. The more you play, you to unlock faster things, bigger wings. Uh, but the reason why this makes number two is not just for the racing, but the battle mode and the crash mode. Man, that we, me and my friends would play, they'd come over the battle mode, we would just play for hours. It was just every time they would come over, we'd sit, talk for a little bit, and then say, all right, let's start playing, and we'd just play and play and play until couldn't play no more, basically. So, I mean, great racing game, but the crash course and the battle system is what makes this game so awesome. So that's number two. So number one... And I do like role-playing games, and I did say there's only two, so here's the other one, which is uh, Skies of Arcadia. A uh, very unique game. Um, great graphics, great music, great story. The More than just turn-based role-playing game, you actually, once in a while, would do battle with other ships, uh, which were really cool. Um, this is one of those games where I want to go back and play it. I haven't had a chance, as you can see. i got so many games. I try to play new games and just remember the good old times. But one of these days, I want to go back and play this again. It was such a fun game, um, which is why it makes number one. Uh, everything great about it, uh, role-playing game, everything. Like I said, music, story, everything great. Number one game. So there's my top ten for the Sega Dreamcast. Great system. I was a, always a Sega guy. Um, had the Genesis, bought the Sega CD. One of the, one of the people who wasn't disappointed in the Sega CD, I actually liked that system. Um, didn't get the Saturn, I went with the PlayStation, but when the Dreamcast came off, out, I heard how good it was, I'm getting back on board with Sega, and, uh, if you don't have the Dreamcast, you should, it's a great swan song for Sega, um, there, it's really, it's got more good games than bad, way more good games than bad, and you can't say that about a lot of systems, so, uh, I hope you like my list, any comments you want to leave, um, uh, I'm going to do another top ten list, I still got a few more to do, I got to do PlayStation 2, Super NES, Sega CD, uh, a few more. Um, I can't do stuff like the Nintendo 64 because I really haven't played enough games for that system to really do a top 10. Uh, same with the Sega Saturn. I played you know, barely over 10 games. So uh, later on when I get to playing more of the games, I'll make top 10s for those other systems. So uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, see you for the next, next top 10 list.